The Eagle and the Falcon presents. Lake Hood Seaplane Base. The base consists of two lakes, Lake Hood and Lake Spenard, which are connected together by the Hood Canal. The canal was completed in 1940. Connecting the lakes increased the takeoff and landing area, making the base possible. The canal is divided into two lanes by Gull Island. One is a taxi lane and the other is a takeoff and landing lane. In 1975, five channels were dredged out in order to create more tie-down float slips for float planes. The largest of the channels is the commercial channel. This channel is used for air taxi, flight seeing and other commercial flight operations. The other four channels contain private plane tie-down float slips. There is an estimated 404 tie-down float slips. Lake Hood sees almost 200 daily flight operations. It is the busiest and largest seaplane base in the world. As you can see, many of the planes have been pulled out of the water to prepare them for the coming winter. In the winter months, the frozen lakes remain in full use by small general aviation aircraft weighing 12,500 pounds or less. Many aircraft operators swap their floats or wheels for skis to land on the frozen lakes. In 1969 a gravel runway on the south side of the lakes was shut down, and a new gravel runway was built on the north side of the lakes in 1972. The new gravel runway is 2,200 feet long. You may be asking why it's made of gravel. Many bush planes are equipped with oversized tires and gravel inflicts less damage on the tires. Gravel is also a more forgiving surface in high crosswinds. The Lake Hood seaplane base is right next to the Anchorage International Airport. In 1977 the Anchorage International Airport's air traffic control tower began overseeing Lake Hood's air traffic as well. Thank you for watching. For more fun videos subscribe to the Eagle and the Falcon.